Hello there. Thank you for coming into the joy of turtles. I'm your host, Bob Gray. If you're a new to painting with turtles, welcome. And I hope you brought your brushes and your paints to paint along with me. And if you are new, welcome. And thank you for joining this painting session. Now, we're having a coloring page contest with the Turtle Survival Alliance. And tonight is the final night to enter. So get all those happy turtles ready and sent in, because we want to look at them. And we love to see the artwork that you're doing. Well, I want to get started. But first, let's talk about what we're painting today. This happy little turtle here is called the Painted Terrapin. What a perfect little turtle to be painting on today's show. It's called Batagir borneoensis, and it lives in Southeast Asia. And the Turtle Survival Alliance, which is led by a good friend of mine, Rick Hudson, leads that organization with programs all over the world. And you can help them by painting along with me today. So we're gonna be using a few different colors to paint our painted terrapin. One of them is the base color that we're gonna be using, and that is Graptemis Gray. So all of you out there, get your Graptemis Gray ready, and let's enjoy painting that base color. The next one we're gonna use is Milana Kelly's Black. We're gonna add some nice little highlights. Just put a little bit here and there. Do whatever you want with the black, but make sure to put it on last. Then we'll add some touches of white. And this color brings out little bits of sunshine that might be dancing on that turtle shell. The next one we'll use is Red Crowned Red. Now that color, is going to really bring out the beauty of this turtle. Make it look painted. It's so beautiful and crimson, and I think you'll like it too. Then maybe a little bit of blue lives in there. Some, some of the blue reflecting off the sky on this little painted terrapin in this happy little turtle world. And then we'll make him live in that world with a little bit of green. So we have our trachemis green, our Batagir Blue, our Red Crown Red, our Milana Kelly's Black, our Leucocephalon White, and our Graptemis Gray. So let's get in there and paint some turtles. Is everybody ready? Now you can do this turtle however you want, but I've chosen these colors. And this nice little turtle lives in some muddy waters around Sumatra and other areas of Southeast Asia. And that's where we're helping them bring back the populations. So let's start off with just a little bit of this Graptemis Gray. We're gonna just make some nice little moves with the brush. There you go, that's all it takes, just a little bit. And we're gonna start with his shell over here. There we go, just nice and soft. There we go, it doesn't matter if you get over the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can do whatever you want in your own little turtle world. There we go. Just softly painting soft strokes on the turtle shell. There we go. Turtles can feel through their shell, so we just wanna be nice and soft with these brush strokes. There we go. And you can do a little crisscross pattern or some broad strokes, whatever you want to do. This is your turtle living in its own happy little world. There we go. We'll get that scoot all nice and colored in there. Get a little more of this grab Timmy's gray. Don't want that scoot to feel left out. 
You always have to have happy little scoots on these happy little turtles. So we'll continue with that grab Timmy's gray, just getting right in there. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And we'll just paint in there. Doesn't matter if you get it on the lines. I hope you all are having a nice Friday evening. It's a great opportunity to enjoy time with yourself and a, your paints, your coloring markers, your crayons, and maybe a bottle of nice Jack Daniels or tequila. There we go. We'll fill that one in there. I hope you all are following along. We're still just using some Grab Temmie's Gray. If you all just tuned in, this is the Grab Temmie's Gray. We're going to fill this in. Don't want the shell to feel left out. There we go. Okay, very nice. I'm sure you all at home are making some nice, happy turtles on your canvases. Don't forget, tonight is the deadline for our TSA Coloring Pages contest. We've got a lot of entries already in of happy little turtles, in their happy little turtle world. Some of them living in, in the grass and some of them living in the water. But no matter where you put your happy little turtle, it doesn't matter. It's all up to you. There we go. So we're just gonna, you know, paint lightly there. We're gonna add some of that Milana Kelly's black in after this. There we go, and fill that in. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is your world. This is your turtle's world. There we go. Okay, nice and in there. So. I hope everybody can tell me what you're uh, drawing right now. Feel free to put it in the comments. My good friend David Hedrick is moderating this session over at the Turtle Survival YouTube channel. He'll be glad to answer any of your questions. Whoops, we got a little paint running down there. Tried to make an escape like a Little baby turtle jumping off a log, but that's okay. We caught it. We caught that little baby turtle. All right. Okay. So we're going to get in there. Again, if you're just joining in, we, uh, we're using Grab Temmie's Gray. It's a base color for this nice painted terrapin. Now... We're painting a male terrapin here, and these male terrapins, they show this nice little color pattern called sexual dichromatism. That's where the males, they show different colors during the breeding season. And the females are a little more drab, but they're still beautiful in their own right. So. You know, if you want to make a female turtle here, feel free. This is all up to you. This is all in your turtle world. All right. There we go. You might notice some flies flying over the camera. Well, that's because they're attracted to this little turtle. Maybe, maybe the flies want to sit on the turtle shell and take a little ride through the water. Take a little bite out of its skin. Don't worry, turtle can just brush it away. Just happy little flies flying around in the background. There we go. There was one of those flies. It's the biggest fly around here. It's a, we think of that one as a mosquito. And he just feeds upon goldfish and cheeses. That's all he really eats. Maybe a little bit of pizza. So again, we're still, there we go, we're still filling in this Graptemi's gray. Okay, don't worry, we're gonna get to some other colors. 
Okay, just like that. There we go. Just some little soft strokes. Little soft strokes. So tonight at 11.59 Eastern Daylight Time, we're going to be concluding our TSA Coloring Pages contest. So if you're painting along with me or using whatever medium you like, like colored pencils or crayons or maybe even chalk, take a picture, scan it in, send it in to us. The wonderful Emily Kiefner would love to see this painting of yours. And we'd love to take a look at it. it. Makes our day at the office at the Turtle Survival Alliance headquarters in Charleston, South Carolina. There we go. So everybody, hopefully you're filling in the shell. This is the carapace. There we go. That's the carapace of the painted terrapin, the Batiger borneoensis. We're almost done. Almost done adding some Graptemis gray to it. Graptemis is a, another genus of turtles, another group of turtles from North America, but I don't think that this painted terrapin minds having a little bit of Graptemis on a shell. They're pretty open to it. Okay, we're gonna hit these marginals here. Now in case you didn't know about the turtle shell, Right along the back of the top shell called the carapace, this is the vertebral or central scutes. And then we have some plural or lateral scutes right there sitting happily along the side. And as close little friends who say hi to them on a daily basis, we have these nice marginal scutes. And they just stay out there on the peripheries, just, just waving over the fence. Here we go, almost done here, almost done with this. Grab Timmy's gray. All right, here we go. Okay, a little bit more. Hopefully all are having a nice Friday evening. And I do thank you for joining. This is a highlight of my day and week is just to be able to spend a little bit of time with you. All right, so let's see what we want to do next on our happy little turtle here. Maybe, maybe we'll add just a little bit of black. There we go. Just a little bit of black. Okay, just take that grab Timmy's gray and add, add it with the Milana Kelly's black and just make a little bit of a darker color. And then we're going to come in here and start painting these legs. These turtles have strong legs, lots of muscle on the legs. They've got to swim. There we go. They've got to swim in all that water. Okay. Giving them a little muscle. And again, if you paint over the lines, that's okay. Nothing has to be perfect here. Nothing in life is perfect. That's okay for a turtle. They don't mind living in their little imperfect habitats. But I, I think they're perfect. And you know, it's the, uh, it's the imperfections that really do make things perfect. So here we go. Adding a little, there's its foot. <laughs> Probably just tickled it a little bit, touching its toes there. Little bit of tickle on this painted terrapin. Okay, so we're just gonna go over it with some broad strokes. Tickling its feet. You know, I like a, a good foot rub in the evening, maybe. I'm going to sleep and, well, just had a little bit of stress from the day. Worrying about all the happy turtles that might be having problems around the world and that's going to give me a little bit of stress, but nothing like a foot rub to take that stress away. Just make it float away. 
like a bird in the sky, just floating up there. Okay, so let's get this foot painted. There we go. It's okay to get outside the lines again. If you're just joining in, thank you so much for joining us. We're just painting this nice painted terrapin, Batiger borneoensis. Okay, so we're going to move on to its other leg here. <laughs> I know, just a, a little tickle. That's okay. Don't worry about him. He's had a long day. So we're just going to keep mixing our Milana Kelly's black with our Graptemi's gray. And then just paint right in there, painting the legs. All right. And all right. Get in there, get those nice turtle muscles. Okay. Now, if you all want to tell me some of your turtle stories, feel free and go ahead. I'd love to hear about them. It's nothing like a good turtle story that warms the heart. All right, so. I think it's time that maybe we add a little bit of song into this. You know, this Friday, a happy little Friday. And any of you out there have a potent potable that you'd like to bring and have this sweet taste upon your lips, feel free. Anything can happen in this world. Anything can happen. Here we go. So. We're just still mixing this Grab Timmy's gray with the Milana Kelly's black. Okay, doesn't matter if you stay in the lines. Anything can, anything goes in your little turtle world. Okay, get down there to the toes. I know this is, it's probably tickling him a little bit more, but. Got to get those toes with the color. Don't want the toes to feel left out. And we'll get a little more of that grab Timmy's gray in there. There we go. Okay. Again, I'd love to hear all of your turtle stories. Maybe I should tell you one of mine. Maybe put it in the form of a song. Once when I was a young boy, I went down to the lake, and out upon the water, I saw a turtle swimming there, and I said, Hello, little turtle. What do you say to me? Do you swim like a turtle? So fast and turtly free. And we're going to add a little more of that Milana Kelly's black to the neck there. Here we go. Some nice dark colors. There we go. Make him feel bold. Make him feel like a, a nice, bold male. Trying to impress the ladies in his estuary in Sumatra that he lives. And as that turtle swam away, I jumped into the water. And I swam after that turtle, but at that time I realized that I was not a turtle. He swam so fast and strong with his webbed feet full of might. I hope that little turtle 
didn't look at me with spite or I found love in the turtle that swam upon the lake and those little turtles never would I take for a turtle's place in the wild is to be free so little turtle swim off and be as free as free as a turtle can be i hope you enjoyed that little song about one of my first experiences with a turtle growing up in the woods of new york we had a lot of ponds around there painted turtles snapping turtles box turtles and spotted turtles and even the little little stinking gym the, the stink pot must turtle this little shell just happily going along the body there we go all right now that we're using our milana kelly's black let's let's go into the shell here and there we go. We'll give it some nice, nice little dark colors in the shell. Again, this turtle exhibits sexual dichromatism. So during the breeding season, they're, uh, they're trying to show off for the females. Maybe they'll pick this one after he's all done and painted. Maybe. Maybe a female turtle will swim up and say, well, how do you do? Really like your colors and maybe you could be my turtle boyfriend. I think that would be pretty nice. Okay, there we go. So as we paint, just remember, we'd love to see your paintings. We'd love to have you enter them into our Turtle Survival Coloring Page Contest. And you can do that by simply taking a photo or scanning your finished colored turtle in. Lots to choose from. Some of them were designed by a good friend, Matt Patterson, New Hampshire. Others of them were designed by Another good friend of mine, Jordan Gray, down in South Carolina. That's right, we have happy little turtles, both in South Carolina and New Hampshire. Some are, some are cold dwelling turtles and some of them, some of them like the heat of South Carolina. And again, thank you for tuning in on a Friday. If you're just coming, feel free to take advantage of happy hour. As you all sit at home alone with a good bottle of Tennessee whiskey as your friend, feel free to take a sip. I already had a few shots tonight so don't you worry your secret's safe with me all right there we go so nice little melana kelly's black coming in i think our little turtles starting to take shape quite a little bit over here and i don't want the right marginals to feel left out maybe a little bit of a be just a little bit sad that was left out but that's okay there we go there we go i'd love to hear more of your turtle stories there at home my good friend david hedrick is on the other side of the computer there 
He's moderating for Turtle Survival Alliance. Just, just talking to you. He has a very nice, soft, calming voice. Sometimes when I'm done painting and tired after a long day, I'll I'll just play a recording of one of David Hedrick's voicemails, and it helps me. It helps me just doze off and get to sleep, like the water of a cool stream running. All right, here we go. Well, maybe we'll add a little bit of black right here. A little bit of Melania Kelly's black right above there. Give him a little eyebrow. All right, okay. Just nice and soft, nice and soft. Yep. Now it kind of looks like the father from Schitt's Creek, but that's okay. He has nice, thick eyebrows. Maybe we'll give him a little bit of a, little bit of a painted terrapin turtle goatee. Just a little bit right there under the chin. I think that looks nice. No matter what colors you're using, you can you can paint it however you want. Remember, this turtle lives in your turtle world, and all you want to do is make it the nicest, safest, happiest place for this turtle to live. Let's see. Our, our turtle has to breathe, so we'll add a little bit of Melania Kelly's black right in there. There we go. Right into his nares or nostril. And there we go, I think he's breathing soft. So again, if you're just tuning in, we have Leucocephalon white. We have Melana Kelly's black here. We've, we've used quite a bit of that. It's taken a life of its own. And we have red crown roof turtle red there. And we have Batiger blue. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll add that in in a, a little while, just for, some, just for some hints so this turtle feels safe around the water and little trachemis green. I think I think for this herbivorous turtle, maybe some foliage, you know, just living in, in its happy little world will make it feel comfortable. And, all right. Now what I'm gonna do is, and you all can do it with me, is change brushes. There we go. We're just gonna add some more of this. There we go. Some of this graptemis gray in into the face, we have this nice whitish gray color. Maybe we'll take a little bit of our white and add it to the Graptemi's gray. There we go. Do whatever you like, this is your world. And we'll just paint around his face. Beautiful face he has, and eyes that seem to twinkle at me. I don't know, maybe they're Maybe they're twinkling at you too. But either way, whatever they're doing, we'll just give them a nice little, nice little home of a head to live in. All right. There we go. I think that I think that leucocephalon white and the Graptemius gray is a nice color for his that's a nice color for his face and his neck. We'll just spread that down. There we go. As our Melana Kelly's black starts to dry. Okay. Now again, if you have any turtle stories or requests of me while I paint, feel free. And my trusted assistant will help deliver those questions to me or maybe some requests you have. I could always take some requests. It's Friday and we're just painting happy little turtles in their happy little turtle world. I wanna thank you all for joining me. I know you all probably have lots of reruns of Tiger King to watch, but well, Sometimes we need to focus on the turtles too, not just, not just the tigers. Even though I love tigers, 
Sometimes we have to step back and focus on the little guys. Focus on our little, our little shelled friends who don't have big scary teeth. All right, there we go. We're getting there for this turtle. Add a little bit of that leucocephalon white mixed with the grab Timmy's gray. Right up there, I bet, it, I bet that uh, bet that twinkle his nose a little bit, a little bit of a little bit of tickle with that twinkle, a little bit of twinkle with that tinkle. And we're just gonna add a little more. Okay, right down his snout there, towards his eye. And I know that eye was twinkling at me before. It's still doing so. He seems to be happy living in his. In his little canvas world here. And you know, I think this might be a good time to, while we're painting, maybe we could do another song. Maybe we can do one together. Where the legend lives on the turtle on down in a big lake they call Gitchigumi. The lake it is said never gives up her turtles when the skies of November turn gloomy. The turtles they say are adapted for a nice cold winter to freeze them. But down in the ice their heart still beats and the metabolism keeps them alive there. Well, come the spring, those turtles up north will fall out and crawl from their hibernation. And then they'll come to the sun that greets them for a nice spring sensation. That was one of my friends sang that song, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. His name's Gordon Lightfoot. That's a lot of nice songs. All right, one of the questions that just came in was, if I know Joe Exotic, I don't know Joe. I've only been to prison a few times, but that's just because of, well, I instigated a few mass riots because of beautiful paintings I had done, trying to make some areas of this world happier, but people got into such a happy frenzy that, well, they, they ran amok, and, well, they put me in prison, but I wasn't able to meet Joe Exotica. You know, I, I wonder if he would be a nice guy. I'm not sure. All right, so we're going to go back to this turtle snout here. I think we'll add some dark grays in here. We'll add in a little more of that Melana Kelly's black. We'll make it a nice darkish gray. Maybe we'll sing another song for everyone. If anybody has any song recommendations, please feel free to, you can feel free to tell me. I'll do my best to acquiesce that request. But there we go, giving him a giving him a nice little mustache, nice little painted terrapin mustache. There we go. Kind of looks like Clark Gable, doesn't he? A good southern gentleman, or a southern gentleman in southern Sumatra, but I think he's coming along. Tell me something, turtle. Are you happy in your water world? Or do you need more? Are there female turtles that you're searching for? You're swimming in the estuaries of South, South Sumatra, searching 
Or some nice green grass that you can chew on. Another close friend of mine, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. All right, it seems we've gotten to the point of the night where somebody's already calling for free bird. That means maybe I should get on with this painting. That's okay, it's Friday night. Hopefully you all are, have a good potent potable next to you and you can do whatever you want with that potent potable. Enjoy your evening. All right, okay. Let's add a little finishing touch up there. A little bit of dark gray living up there above his, above his, his little eyebrow. And I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a little bit of this Milana Kelly's black with this with this red crown roof turtle red. There we go. Make kind of a nice deep red color. And we're gonna paint, there we go. Maybe a little bit of reddish black lives in his eyes. Brings out that brings out that sparkle. There we go. I don't want to take the sparkle away, but I think a little bit of reddish black lives there. Okay. Now, if you're at home, you can do whatever color that you want to. Remember, this is your world. This is your happy little turtle. And all you do is make the best world for him that you can. Just imagine. Just imagine what he's doing and what he's thinking about. On a Friday night, I'll bet this turtle's thinking about, he's probably thinking about a nice pepperoni pizza. Maybe a little bit of Coca-Cola to go along with it. Who knows? He might get wild. But if I were him, I'd probably just want a little bit of leafy vegetation. All right, we're gonna switch we're gonna switch our brushes one more time. We're gonna go to that nice, that nice red crown roof turtle red because we wanna really make this turtle bold. We wanna make him stand out. So that all the female turtles take a look at him and say, hey, why don't you come over here to, uh, to my side of the estuary we can make some happy turtles together. So we'll just, there we go. We're just gonna put this red right atop his head, right up there. A little bit of red living there so that, yeah, he's like a cardinal, like a little cardinal, just, just cheap cheaping, just cheap cheaping over to his, his mate saying, look at me. Look how beautiful I am. With my nice, with my nice royal red color upon, upon my head. And there we go. All right. All right, we've got a little twinkle in the eye. And I think, I think, I don't know what you say, but Maybe we'll add some of this Trachemys green. He's an herbivorous turtle, so we'll give him a little bit of, little bit of foliage. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll take a nibble. Maybe he'll just rest in it. He can do whatever he wants to do. Now with your turtle, you can have it living wherever you want to live. And once it's done, you can take a take a photo of it. Have your parent take a photo of it and then send it in to my good friend Emily Kiefner. And she'll she'll take a look at all the beautiful happy turtles you've made and maybe we'll pick you as the winner for our contest. Wouldn't that be nice to be a winner of the TSA coloring contest? 
first annual one. There we go. And if you all are adding in some green along with me, I think that's nice. You know, some nice soft strokes along its feet. Maybe it tickles them a little bit. But again, just like me, maybe he, maybe he likes a little foot tickle in the evening. There we go. Okay. A few more strokes. A few more strokes. We got a little bit of our fat of your blue in there. And maybe there was a little bit of rain that came trickling down, just fluttering down from the sky. Fell upon those leaves there, those little blades of grass. So they're just a little blue, little blue from the water. All right. Now for our last color. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna really, really gonna get into this Badiger blue. And we're gonna, maybe there's a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. It's just flowing right below this painted terrapin. It's just flowing. It's reflecting that nice, beautiful Sumatran sky overhead. Just a beautiful, calm day for this turtle. And you can just do light strokes. Maybe that water's flowing. Maybe it's still. No matter what it is, it's your world. It's wherever you want this turtle to live. Here we go, a little bit under his foot. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll put a little bit of water over his foot. He's taking a, taking a nice little dip in the water on the summer evening. Maybe keep it cool. There you go. There you go, just like that. Just like that. Okay. All right. And some last strokes. Okay. Well, folks, it was really nice having you here. Again, if you've joined us before, thank you for joining us again on the Joy of Turtles. And if this is your first time, welcome. And I hope you got a chance to paint along with me. If you had a song that you wanted me to sing about turtles and I didn't get to it, well, maybe, maybe next time I'll. I'll get to it. Maybe we'll do another painting soon for you. Until then, we're all just going to, you know, oh, I just get carried away when, I, when I'm near water. I just get carried away. I start adding a little bit, a little bit of extra strokes in there. But thank you all very much. And There we go, I just get carried away. So thank you all very much. And I want to thank Alan who donated this wonderful print of this painted terrapin, Fatigure Borneoensis. It was very generous of him to donate this printing to the Turtle Survival Alliance, giving a place for this happy painted terrapin to live. So. I hope you all enjoyed tonight and submit those drawings. We can't, uh, we can't wait to look at them tomorrow and through the weekend. And next week we'll, well, we'll be naming some lucky, lucky turtle lover a, a winner. So keep painting those happy turtles and keep loving turtles. Okay, we'll see you next time on the joy of turtles.